Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're talking about the new San Diego Comic Con Funko 2020. Uh, so Funko has been revealing a couple Funko Pops over the, a few couple days. Today, uh, as of me recording this, this is day three. They haven't announced anything just yet. So now we're going to just go over day one and day two. Um, I was waiting instead of doing all separate individual videos I, I was just gonna wait until they revealed everything and then do a video and talk about it so we're gonna start off with <laughs> the one and the only the one that got everybody talking which is the uh tier four tier five membership toucan that they announced um the one that's limited to one thousand pieces now if you were to purchase this tier four tier five membership um, it's gonna run you about 500 bucks. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand why it has to be 500 bucks. Uh, I guess it going, um, the money might be going to a, a charity or something. Um, but for me personally, I would not be purchasing that. Yeah, so, um, on to the next one, I guess I'm done talking about that. That's ridiculous. Um, the next one they revealed is Jack in the Box. Now, we don't have a Jack in the Box here in Chicago, unfortunately. Um, I heard good things about it, but, um, yeah, that's a cool design. I really like it. Uh, and then they revealed Captain Crunch, Crunch Berry. I believe it comes with a soda as well. I'm not familiar with soda. I don't buy the soda, um, Funko Pops or, or whatever it is. I don't know if there's actual soda in there or you just open the can and then there's a Funko Pop inside of it. I'm not really sure. Um, I never really bought the cereal either when it comes to Funko. So there's that. Uh, they announced Steve at Koi. <clears throat> I believe he's a musician. Uh, I don't really know much about him either. Um, the fact that I do know he's a musician tells me uh, as much. Um, he's looked like he's holding a bug. Uh, so if you like Steve at Koi, that's for, pop for you. Um, they also announced Fortnite Ripley. Uh, I think Funko does a really good job when it comes to Fortnite. Their pops look real interesting. The looks, the design of them are actually pretty, pretty cool. I love the colors. So this this is actually a cool pop. Um, I don't buy the Fortnite Funko Pops, but I'm pretty sure there's people out there who absolutely love it. Kids or whoever. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, revealed two new Pokemon Funko Pops. Um, both of them are flocked. One of them don't make any sense at all. The other one actually makes sense. The one that don't make sense is Mewtwo because uh, uh, Mewtwo was never flurry, uh, fairy. So I don't understand why they, they made it, that they made them have fear. Um, I might have to go back and watch uh, Pokemon De Detective Pikachu. Uh, that loud noise is they're working outside. So if you guys hear that in the video, I'm sorry. But um, so in the uh, in the anime, he wasn't he didn't have fear at all. But probably in the movie, I uh, might have to go back and watch that. Maybe he does. I'm not really sure. Uh, Vulpix actually makes sense because Vulpix actually has fur. Um, you know, it's kind of like she's a uh, she or he is a, a kind of like a little dog or whatever. Uh, however you want to call it, arcane. Uh, so it kind of makes sense that she has fair. So that one, I do have the original one. I'm, I'm not going to pick that one up. Uh, they revealed Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku. That actually looks pretty cool. Now for the hundred million time, how many Gokus do you need? But this one actually looks pretty cool. So I probably will be picking it up because I am a mark and I continue to pick up Dragon Ball Z Pops. <laughs> The one, the cool one that they revealed was Bakugo Blast. Now, at first, I was on the fence about it, and then I had a good look at it, and I was like, you know, it actually looks cool. He has the blast coming out of his hands. He has the cloud. I actually really, really like the Funko Pop, so I might be picking that one up. Now, I, I'm absolutely happy that it's not another Deku or All Might. We get a ton of those. So, at least it's a different character. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I would prefer them to keep that. Hopefully, they don't do what they've been doing with the Dragon Ball Z line. Just continue to make the main characters. I like to see more side characters with their cool, amazing effects. That's what I'm saying. I really would like more Naruto pops as well as Jojo, um, Bizarre. Um, I keep going down the anime line, man. I'm telling you, that's where the money's at. 
us anime fans, man, we want to see our favorite animes in these pop forms. So I don't understand why they will continue to make a thousand Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops and not make <clears throat> other anime. But that is it with Bakugo. Baku then they revealed the Sonic 2 pack that actually looks pretty cool. I used to play Sonic growing up as a kid, but not anymore. Um, but it's actually pretty cool. I did like yellow, the yellow design of them. It might be from the movies or from the older games. I don't really remember. So don't mark my words for that. Don't quote me on that. But that was it for day one. But day two, they announced some Hello Kitty. It's Kaiju Collab HK Robot. I know that's a long name. I don't really know much about Hello Kitty or the the thing that they're collabing with, so I don't really know much. Uh, I just know that they're diving completely huge into this Hello Kitty line. Um, and I'm sure there are people out there who are collecting these because if they weren't, they wouldn't be making this line so big. Um, but <laughs> there's much I can say about that. Uh, so if you like Hello Kitty, that... that Funko Pop is for you. Um, they also revealed uh, Teenage Min uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo with Surfboard. Now, I do have a problem with that um, because on the surfboard, it says Kawabunga. And then there's like a huge gap in between the lines you can see on the picture. And they on the concept art, they slapped the, the um, San Diego Comic Con sticker on the huge space that they had it now the Funko Pop is not going to probably come out like that so I want to see how they're going to try to fix that because that I don't know why would they design the surfboard just looking like that the pop looks pretty cool I, I really like it. I really like the trunks you know it's kind of like represents the summer the pop itself looks good it's just a surfboard that doesn't make sense um, so I don't know how they're going to fix that if it's just going to come out like that but Probably one I will be picking up, even with the the little minor uh, faulty detail that they had on it. Reveal Samurai Jack Skarmooch. Now, I probably just butchered that. I know he is a villain from Samurai Jack. Uh, I do remember him growing up as a kid. He's probably going to be a harder one to get because he is exclusive from Toy Tokyo. Toy Tokyo has other exclusives uh, that are probably later on going to be revealed, but they do have other ones as well. Um, Masters of the Universe Clawful. I believe these are sodas of, as well. Um, and then another one is Blast Attack. So those look cool. I really love the Masters of the Universe line. They make some cool pops when it comes down to Masters of the Universe. Their designs. I really like that Funko got the license back and continued to make different characters, not the same He-Man or the same Skeletor all the time, but they're adding more side characters. Only if they will do that with different lines. <laughs> but um, those are well as Toy Tokyo. So um, when there are more Toy Tokyo reveals, I will, um, you know, let you guys know. But the thing about Toy Tokyo, as you guys know, if you guys been purchasing Funko Pops for a long time, is that Toy Tokyo likes to put their pops in bundles. So you should be prepared to <laughs> to pay for a lot for these bundles if you want one or two pops. And I hate that they don't do that they do that uh, the bundles instead of putting every each and every pop individually because sometimes you don't want every pop inside that bundle. So. Then you're stuck with a, a few pops that you don't like. So uh, there's that. Also revealed Invader Jim. So Invader Jim, uh, I I know I know the anime. Um, when I was a kid, it used to be on Cartoon Network. Um, never watched it, <laughs> but it's actually a cool pop that they made Invader Jim. So hopefully they continue down the old classic line. Um, and it's actually a cool design, so I really, really, really like it. They had the Kevin Alien Remix that actually looks pretty cool. I really like the Alien Remixes more than I do the Hello Kitties. Um, so uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, not really much I can say about that. The fact that it is a cool design, I really, like I said, I really like the Aliens Remixes designs. They're pretty cool. Office Recyclops. Um, I believe they have original one, but this one looks like he comes with other accessories. Actually pretty cool. I don't watch The Office, but it's actually pretty cool to see that. And then they revealed Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas. 
Funko Pop, and I really like those pops, man. Those pops are pretty cool. I don't pick them up. I really like the Ugly Boogie. The Ugly Boogie 10 inches are pretty cool, but that looks pretty cool as well. Then they are now Emperor, the new groove growing up as a kid. I watched the movie. I just don't remember it, so I don't remember this cat. It's Wyzima as cat, um, so I probably just butchered that because uh, I don't remember the name. Um, like I said, don't remember the movie as well because it wasn't one that always sticked out to me as a kid. But it's pretty cool, man. Like I said, man, they're going back, bringing back some childhood memories in some of these Funko Pops. And then my favorite announcements of last yesterday was the Cyborg Superman. That pop looks absolutely sick. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. You know, I'm going to try to get my hands on that. Um, they also revealed Raza Goo. Now, this is the classic Raza Goo more. I kind of wish they did the uh, the Arkham City Raza Goo because he comes with actual accessory swords or whatever. But this one's the classic one. You can't go wrong with classic as well. Um, and we, it's about time we get a Raza Goo Funko Pop. And then a Black Lightning, which is surprisingly only limited to 3,000 pieces. Now, I don't know why they would limit Black Lightning, but that was super, super duper weird. Um, and that was about it for day two, unless I'm forgetting something else. And then if I am forgetting something else, I'll put it in this part of the video. If not, we're going to go on to day three, which still hasn't been announced yet. So I'm going to be updating this video as I go along. Okay, yeah. So there is a few pops that I forgot to mention that got actually uh, revealed yesterday. There was Glitter Mr. Freeze. Now he looks pretty cool. This is Mr. Freeze from the Batman and Robin movie. Um, actually pretty cool. I believe that's Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. So it's a glitter pop. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm not sure I'm going to pick that one up, but it's a cool pop to see. I believe they already have a Mr. Freeze, but this one, of course, has the glitter, as the name implies. So it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, also, a Sith Jet Trooper from Star Wars. Now, if you guys um, know anything about Star Wars, these Star Wars pop sells like hotcakes. Um, people are really, really into Star Wars. I'm not that big of a Star Wars fan. If you guys are wondering why I got a towel, just got out the shower. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a weird edit. Uh, but anyways, guys. So, uh, so yeah. So, there's a Seth Jet Trooper um, Funko Pop. And that was it for day two. So, now with day three, they officially announced Iron, Iron Man Stan Lee. So, um... You know, he's from the Iron Man movies. I don't know which Iron Man that is, to be exact. But it's pretty cool to see that, if you ask me. And then, a uh, surprise, the zombie 10-inch, the thing that looks absolutely insane. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it. That's going to be insane. Uh, he just looks badass, you know what I'm saying? These zombies, uh, Funko Pops, which we still haven't seen in pop form. But this is kind of like our first glimpse of what they look. I mean, there's the concept art, but this is actually the, the glam shots of the uh, zombies. They look crazy. And then alongside that was the dark, um, dark Captain Marvel that looks absolutely crazy too. Like, I don't even know there was a dark Captain Marvel, but just seeing this pop, just like, holy crap, this thing looks insane. Now, there was uh, three other pops that hasn't been announced just yet, but there are glam shots of these Funko Pops going around. Some of them looking out of box. Um, and for credit, just to throw credit out there because I'm not going to... Uh, you know, take other people's work. This from this Funko, D-I-S Funko from Twitter. They showed some glam shots. I believe they credit the person that took the shots on there as well. Uh, but there's Marvel McFly looking at a, 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 at a watch. So that's what it's called. So Mar another Marty McFly Funko Pop and uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So you guys love Back to the Future. There's that for you. And then uh, uh, Wade Wilson from... Uh, from the uh, Marvel movie uh, X-Men. So that's pretty cool to see that. He looks like he's on Max as well. Uh, I believe he's from uh, Origins. X-Men Origins. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. But as you guys going to see, I'm going to post the picture anyways. Looks pretty cool as well. I'm not sure I'm going to pick that up, but that's pretty awesome. 
And then Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, you guys know I love Nightcrawler. I love the X-Men. I love the Marvel Legend as well. Uh, pretty awesome to see that. Definitely will be picking it up. So as of right now, you know, that's it for uh, for right now is the reveal. So once again, more reveals come, the more I'm going to upload it, uh, another part. Funko actually announced Harry Potter World Cup. So it's basically Harry Potter pop with the top hat with the World Cup. Um, I really don't collect Harry Potter. There is some few of them that I would collect. I do like Harry Potter. I can't wait for them to announce the game. There's a supposedly RPG game that's going to come out. Um, so growing up, I did love Harry Potter. But I don't collect the pops. There's just too much of them. And then some pops are just like, doesn't make any sense for me. Even though I understand, uh, people are probably have to still be buying them because they're still making them. And, you know, Funko, if nobody's buying them, they're not going to, they're just going to drop the license. But uh, Harry Potter, so if you guys like that. And then uh, uh, one that actually looks cool that I know nothing about is Jay and Silent Bob. I know, let me rephrase that. I know, I know about Jay and Silent Bob, um, but it's with the, uh, the movie, the reboot. Uh, it's called Iron Bob, so it's basically Bob, uh, from Jane Silent Bob in the Iron Man, um, suit, and that looks pretty awesome if you ask me. If you're a big fan of uh, Jane Silent Bob and you watch the movie, now since I haven't watched the movie, I don't know, um, uh, like the, the the backup, I guess the backstory to it, um, but he's as iron man so it must be if him just wearing a suit or something in the movie or some type of scene i don't know but it looks pretty cool man so if you like jane Sand and bob you like that part of the movie then there is that so funko actually revealed another one it's called critical role i am not familiar with this i believe it's probably a movie um definitely not familiar with that um i guess the design looks okay they also revealed Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Um, so that pop to me, it's, eh, I mean, there's not really much about him. Uh, I'm not familiar with Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Um, never watched the movie. I, no, I, and that's a lie. I have watched the movie. The movie was to, oh, to me, I don't really re remember the character. So it's not really going to do much for me as well. And then last but not least, they released the Anchorman Pops. Uh, I am familiar with Anchorman with Will Ferrell. Um, I, they had the whole set there as well. So um might want to pick those up if you're a fan of Anchorman. Um, but I believe that's about it for the reveals. I mean, to be honest with you, kind of, for me, it's kind of like a lackluster uh, San Diego Comic Con. I mean, there's only a few, a few Pops that are going to really uh that are gonna hit my pockets um i would just name them like the dragon ball z uh super saiyan god goku maybe uh bakugo um the blast uh maybe all the masters of the universe i'm still deciding on that maybe the samurai jack i mean if i don't have the original ones why would i purchase the samurai jack um the DC pops are for sure. Those are a must. Um, I don't know how we're going to get this black lining. They also revealed all of the spots, all the shared retailers that these um, Funko Pops are going to. So I'm just going to name them down. But before I do that, just talk about which pops I might be picking up. Uh, the Cyborg Superman for sure. The black lining going to try. Um, even though it's... We'll get, in, get into that in just a few. And the, Raj, the Raise Al Ghul, which I'm going to try to get my hands on. I'm still debating on whether the Mr. Freeze, the Glitter Mr. Freeze. Um, and for the newer one, maybe the, the Nightcrawler. I'm going to pass on that Wade Wilson. Uh, I don't know why they made that one. That's probably the worst, worst one of them all. Um, maybe the Iron Man Stanley. I know that's going to be a big one. Uh, for sure, the zombie ten inch, the thing I'm gonna try to go after that, as well as the dark captain Mar, uh, the dark captain Marvel. I'm gonna try to get my hands on that, and everything else is pretty much uh, past for me. Um, oh, and the teenage uh, the uh, the uh, Michelangelo with surfboard. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that as well. So other than that, 
it's kind of like a huge pass for me on, the, on most of the exclusives. For me, it's kind of lackluster. So now I'm just going to get down to where the every pop is going to every retailer. Okay, so for the Funko Shop, of course, all the Toucan Pops are going there. As well as all the Anchor Mans are going to be on the, the uh, Funko Shop as well. You got the um, the Captain Crunch and Berries Funko Pops. Uh, the the um, Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Pop, um, the Scott Pilgrim versus the World, the Flock Mewtwo is gonna be on the Funko Shop, the Michelangelo with surfboard as well as the Harry Potter, and the um, the Jack in the Box. So all those will be from the Funko Shop as well, and for box lunch you got um uh. Razima as cat, I believe I'm saying that right, and then Kevin as the alien, um, uh, remix, whatever. Uh, so there's for box lunch kind of a disappointment for box lunch, man. Usually, box lunch got at least two or three good Funko Pops coming out of there. GameStop to me is probably the store I might hit up, um, first, and that is the thing with the uh, zombie the thing as well as the hello kitty the fox vulpix the two pack um uh, uh sonic as well as the glitter mr freeze so out of the gamestop the ones i really want is maybe the uh the glitter mr freeze and then the zombie the thing um from best buy is from the critical role movie which only just one exclusive at Best Buy, so that's a huge pass for me. Uh, Amazon is uh, the Dark Captain Marvel and the Sith Red Trooper. So if you want to get those, you got to wait to Amazon. Uh, for Your Entertainment, I never really heard of that site, but that one's going to have the uh, Jay and Silent Bob, Bob as uh, Iron Man, I guess. Bob in Iron Man suit. Uh, Walgreens will have the Wade Wilson's. So that's one I'm going to be passing. Toy Tokyo probably has the best exclusive. No, I'm going to say Hot Topic. Because uh, uh, Toy Tokyo has Toy Tokyo has Scarmooch. They have uh, the two uh, Masters of the Universe pops. Uh, uh, Clawful and Blast Attack. So that's going to be them. And then Steve Ekoi, which probably, you know, Toy Tokyo is going to put that as a bundle. Entertainment Earth is going to have the Raja Gu with Invader Jim. So, uh, might be hitting up that uh, Entertainment Earth Raza Gu. Hot Topic is going to have, uh, to me, they have the best ones. They're going to have the Bakugo, the Nightcrawler, and the Dragon Ball Z, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. So, I'm going to try to hit that one up. Walmart is going to have Marty McFly, um, uh, Recyclops um from the office uh the white is recyclops and the um the fortnite uh character uh from walmart so that's a huge pass for me and then target is gonna have stan lee and cyborg superman so that's about it for all the reviews uh like i said pretty lackluster this year man and, and maybe the the virus the, the virus probably the reason why it's so lackluster this year um that's all i'm gonna say about that but let, let me know in the comment section what you guys are picking up man i already said what i'm picking up um and just gonna try to get my hands on, on these i believe they said early on in the year the funko uh there's gonna be a shortages on um a mono funko so you're gonna have to try to at least get your hands on some of these if you want some of them um you're gonna be want to be ready uh payment <laughs> ready i suggest going on um um, desktop or or laptop or whatever you have and try to get these uh, the Funko Pops that you want uh, like I said man so if I can't get the real the if the ones I really want is that cyborg Superman that zombie the thing and the um and the uh the hot topic ones so if I could get those man I'll be super super happy if I can't oh well uh I forgot to mention there's actually the black lightning Funko Pop that's only limited to three thousand that one's only a show only and that doesn't make sense because there's no 
show. So I don't know where the hell they're going to get that. I wonder if that's just going to be a Funko shop or how, how that's going to work out. So stay tuned for later updates for that. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys like this type of content, please consider hitting that like button and the subscribe button. You guys have a wonderful, amazing day. And see you guys later.